hi guys welcome back to another video come along with me as we do a quick grocery stock at superstore so to use the cart you'll need a one dollar coin to put in to release the cart at the end of your shopping you can return the cart and collect your dollar coin Let's start off with some fruits. So I'm walking along the front bins, seeing what they have on sale. And I saw that they had a pretty good price for the oranges. I believe it's $3 for that entire bag. Moving on to the greens, I noticed that they had skeleton on sale for 97 cents each bundle. It's usually around $2 per bundle, so you know I had to grab two. Skeleton is available, yes guys, skeleton is available in Canada. It's sold as green onion, so it's a superstore, this is an item that's always in stock. You even have, I think, an organic version, but I'm gonna really buy that one day. So I'm going to check on some fruits that I saw that should be on sale and the stock was really really low or even non-existent so I didn't bother to pick up any other fruits right there. Oh yes we got bananas and right now I am checking the app, the Superstore app to see what other deals are available. I'm going to do another video on how to check for deals before you do your grocery shopping. So heading to the ground provision section, I saw that the sweet potatoes were on sale and I noticed that there were two types of sweet potatoes right beside each other. So I was trying to figure out what's the difference between these two um, and usually the sweet potatoes are not even on that side. So that was confusing. And then I noticed that on the other side, they also had sweet potatoes over there. So there were three bins of sweet potatoes. There was Jamaican sweet potatoes, there was one with no name, and then there was a regular sweet potatoes. So in total, five different types of sweet potatoes were at Superstore this week. I needed some onions this week I opted for red onions I usually buy the yellow onions or the regular white onions but I was feeling fancy so in it goes moving on to the corn here you have to husk your own corn we had some at home so I decided not to get any We need soda, so this is me heading down the soda aisle and we shop or we buy the PC brand soda, watermelon, lemon. I find that this is quite refreshing in the summer and it's probably one of our favorite flavors. So usually they would have Jamaican ginger beer right above it but I was looking for it and couldn't find it so I decided to look further up the aisle and there it is a six pack of Jamaican ginger beer these cans are smaller but it does taste like authentic ginger beer from back home so you guys can try it if you are in Canada So 
the yellow tag caught my eye. In Superstore, anything with a yellow label means it's on sale. So I decided to try this grapefruit cocktail. I'll let you know how it tastes. So now we're heading down the international aisle. This is where you'll find international foods. This was on sale here in Superstore. It was about 10 cents cheaper than in Walmart. So, you know, I'm gonna grab two. This Ovaltine caught my eye. I haven't seen or had Ovaltine drink in a really long time. And then I looked up and saw Horlicks. So I was gonna pick up the Horlicks at first, but then I saw the Milo beside it. So I put back the Horlicks and here I am looking at the Milo and decided to take it since it is on sale. <laughs> But then I started to remember that Ovaltine and Horlicks have a different taste and I was tired of the chocolatey drinks that we usually have as tea in the morning. So I saw that Ovaltine has a regular flavor as well as a malted milk flavor. So right here I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between the two because I, I only knew Ovaltine as having one flavor. So I went with the malted milk flavor and it was quite good. It reminds me of like creamy malt, Lasko creamy malt. Seasonings, Maggi, jerk seasoning, sardines, walkers with jerk, rice, your basmati rice, and other international foods that we're familiar with. There is a sale on drumsticks, chicken drumsticks, $1.97 um, a pound, so you know I had to grab a pack. So here I am comparing, you know, as a Caribbean woman, you know, I have to compare when I go just take up the first thing that we see. So we have to look and make sure that the chicken is in order, don't it? So this pack that I decided to go with was about $8.50. The ones on this side didn't look any better so I decided to stay with the choice that I made initially. Over here you'll find pork, beef um, and other kinds of meats. Um, further down you'll see bacon, franks and that type of processed meat products. I remember that they had a sale on shrimp so here I am looking for the packs that were on sale because I love shrimp so I'm going to check out the sales on shrimp. Here I am trying to decide if we should get um, another kind of meat. Right there they have lamb and goat, stewing goat but we decided not to get it. So now we're heading to the dairy section, um, we need milk, so here I am grabbing um, a gallon of milk, but these caught my eye, they look really convenient to pack in like a toddler lunch kit, um, but I decided to put it back and wait for the chocolate flavor. So here's the milk that will usually last us for about a week and a half depending on how hard we use the milk. Dairy products, cheeses, butters, galore and over this, this section is baked goods. So I noticed that they have some international baked goods there but those didn't look familiar so I decided not to get any.
over here they'll have the donuts cakes um, brownies that kind of baked goods so we were checking to see if they had anything that looked good but nothing caught my eye over this section is where I don't I've never shopped before I never really looked at before and I was very surprised to see some things that look familiar to me So this caught my eye, it looks like tutti frutti cakes. If you're from Jamaica, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And they had two flavors, I think one was tropical fruits and the other one was strawberry. And I noticed that they also had some flavored buns. So for those of you who know like raisin bun or even coconut bun, this is the raisin bun or what I'm hoping is raisin bun and then I noticed that they have um, the coconut bun as well so I'm hoping to try these and I really hope that they taste like raisin bun and coconut bun from back home So I noticed this on the way to the cashier and it's a bread that's made in Calgary. Um, I don't remember the name of the bakery but the name of the product is Tasty Bread which I found hilarious. So I hope this is like our hard dough bread from back home and hopefully it tastes just the same. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Please like share it with your friends drop a comment below and consider subscribing to my channel see you in my next video